Mala Ai, the culinary garden at Waimea Middle School, is a one-acre outdoor living classroom. An important part of our work is observing and learning from nature, then applying what we learn in all that we do. There are many interesting jobs on Hawaii Island in science, technology, engineering, and math that also require learning from nature and the aina. To find out more about these STEM careers, we went into the field to meet a variety of professionals to learn about the cool and important jobs they do. Alyssa Fujii is a soil conservationist with a degree in tropical plant science from the University of Hawaii at Hilo. She grew up on a vegetable farm in Waimea and went to Waimea Elementary and Middle School. At Honoka'a High, she took a big step toward becoming a soil conservationist by volunteering for the Earth Team, a program of the Natural Resources Conservation Service, or NRCS, a government agency dedicated to protecting soil and water. Yeah, so the volunteering, um, that's where it all started, Earth Team Volunteer. Um, and then doing the internship, that was definitely my foot in the door. Um, you know, a few days a week here and there, whenever I could. It got me the experience and the exposure to, you know, know what it's like to work with NRCS and, um, you know, help me decide my career path and to guide me on, on what type of classes I needed. Um, there is financial aid out there. I went to school all on financial aid. Um, I didn't come from a family with very much money. Um, so it is possible. You just have to put your mind to it. Apply for scholarships. There's a ton out there. As a soil conservationist, Alyssa helps farmers and ranchers learn new techniques for saving water and improving their soil. Um, and we offer assistance to farmers, ranchers, um, and land stewards. The best part of the job is, you know, seeing the customers happy. When you go out into the field, when they come into the office, you know, you talk story with them. You know, I, we came from farming background, ranching background, and so there's some relation. Seeing them happy and like, oh, my cows are, are so happy and healthy. You know, my crops, you know, they're, they're producing two times as much as what I used to have um, with so much less input. You know, that to me, it's the, the customer satisfaction that, that brings joy to me in my job. So, see how far down those roots are going? Mm -hmm. Let's see, more than 20 inches. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's really good. Alyssa says that soil is one of the most important things on Earth, so, and it is extremely complex. By digging down through the layers of soil and feeling it, smelling it, looking at it carefully, so, she can help figure out how to improve it. We'll be doing a soil demonstration. Uh, the first one will be uh, looking at soil horizon. So we'll dig a soil pit, um, you know, looking at based on what the soil series is in the area, um, looking at the different horizons. So, you know, in the first, say, zero to six inches, there might be very dark brown. Um, you know, in the, in the next one, it just might be dark brown. So we'll be looking at things like that. Um, also like root zones, you know, how far are the roots going? Is there possible compaction happening? Um, you know, and also the history of the land plays a lot of factors in, in what the soil might be today versus what the description says. Um, and we'll also be doing a soil texture ribbon test. So we'll take a, a, a handful of soil, uh, moisten it up, and then, um, you know, kind of spread it. And, and you're basically trying to form like a ribbon and seeing how far you can get it without it falling. Um, and that'll describe whether it's um, loamy, sandy, silty clay loam. Um, so we'll be looking at that as well. Alyssa says her pay is good. And because it's a government job, the benefits are great. And because she's working in her hometown, her job satisfaction is off the charts. Uh, I feel very fortunate to be able to work here in the, the hometown that I grew up in. Um, you know, I, a lot of the people that we work with, there's some connection to an uncle, an auntie, you know, a cousin. There's always some connection and, and it makes the interaction with the customer easier when you can relate back to something. They feel more comfortable working with you. Um, it's not like, oh, you're from where? And, and you know, so... It's just that kind of connection, you know, making the relationships. It's, it's all about building the relationship, um, just like anywhere else you go. 
So yeah, I'm, I'm super happy to be able to work in my community and, you know, work with a lot of the people that, um, you know, I, I saw farming alongside my, my family. Alyssa encourages students in Waimea and Honoka'a to contact her if they want to learn how to volunteer for the Earth Team program. Alyssa's assistant for today is Jana Marsh. Jana also grew up in Waimea and went to Waimea Elementary and Middle Schools, then to the Hawaiian-focused charter school Kanu Oka'aina for high school, where she did a lot of hands-on outdoor projects. When she went to college, she wanted the same kind of learning environment. So do I like to work outside? I am a hands-on learner. That is one of the main reasons why I loved going to Konokaina and I didn't want to stay. Um, I didn't want to go to, not a traditional college, but I didn't want to go to classes, lecture classes where you have to just sit there and take notes and not be able to see what they're talking about in person because it's one thing to hear about it, it's another thing to see it and be like, wow, this is a real thing. I'm not just learning about it in a book. <laughs> Talking to Alyssa, I really saw her as a role model, not only because she came, as, she came from the same town as me and the same pretty much circumstances, um, same mentality, small town mentality somewhat, um, and just to see her being so successful and just, being in the STEM field, which a lot of what I've encountered from the STEM field is, yes, there is women in it, but it's there's not as many women as there is men in the field. I believe that you can make a good living here in Hawaii, um, especially you know with the benefits that you get along with the pay. Um, you know, like I said, it is sometimes not all about the money; it's it's about the satisfaction that you get from the job. To explore more job options, visit the Hawaii Career Explorer, a great place to see future high-demand STEM occupations. Just search Hawaii Career Explorer online or visit our website, malaai.org.